Asteroid impacts have long been subjects of fascination and concern, given their potential to cause catastrophic changes to Earth's environment and life forms. A recent study by University College London researchers has shed light on two massive asteroid impacts that occurred approximately 36 million years ago, revealing that these events did not lead to significant long-term climate changes. In this video, we'll explore what makes these impacts unique, the science behind the findings, and their broader implications for understanding Earth's resilience and vulnerability. We'll also connect these insights to modern planetary defense efforts and what they mean for our future. Around 36 million years ago, Earth experienced two substantial asteroid impacts within a span of about 25,000 years. The first impact created the Papagai Crater in present-day Siberia, Russia, measuring nearly 60 miles in diameter, making it the fourth largest known impact crater on Earth. The second impact resulted in the Chesapeake Bay Crater in the United States, with an estimated diameter ranging from 25 to 55 miles, located about 125 miles southeast of Washington, D.C. These craters are significant not just for their size, but also for their remarkable preservation, offering scientists invaluable records of ancient impact events. The Papagai Crater, for instance, has remained largely uneroded, making it a prime site for studying the effects of asteroid impacts. Similarly, the Chesapeake Bay Crater reveals insights into the dynamics of oceanic impacts and subsequent geological processes. Researchers analyzed isotopic compositions in tiny marine fossils known as foraminifera, which lived both near the ocean surface and on the seafloor at the time of the impacts. By examining carbon and oxygen isotopes, they inferred past ocean temperatures and by extension, climate conditions. The study revealed shifts in isotopic compositions approximately 100,000 years before the impacts indicating modest ocean temperature changes. However, no significant isotopic shifts were observed at the time of the impacts or in the 150,000 years following, suggesting these events did not cause lasting climatic disturbances. This is a stark contrast to the Chicxulub impact 66 million years ago, which caused mass extinctions and global climate disruption due to the release of massive amounts of dust and aerosols into the atmosphere. To investigate the long-term climatic effects of the Papagai and Chesapeake Bay impacts, Researchers employed high-resolution analyses of foraminifera fossils extracted from deep-sea sediment cores. These analyses provided a detailed timeline of ocean temperature changes over 11,000-year intervals, enabling a precise understanding of climatic conditions before and after the impacts. The absence of significant isotopic changes during the impact period suggests that these asteroid collisions did not release enough material to disrupt Earth's climate on a global scale. This finding contrasts with previous studies that highlighted the potential for large impacts to cause cooling or warming by injecting dust or aerosols into the atmosphere. Several factors may explain the minimal climatic impact of these events. First, the asteroids were smaller than the Chicxulub impactor resulting in less energy released upon collision. Second, the geological composition of the impact sites likely played a role. Unlike the sulfur-rich rocks at the Chicxulub site, the Papagai and Chesapeake Bay regions may not have contained materials capable of altering the atmosphere significantly. Lastly, the impacts occurred during the late Eocene epoch, a time of global cooling and ice sheet formation, which may have offset any potential warming effects. These findings underscore Earth's capacity to absorb certain types of disturbances without long-term consequences. However, this resilience is not universal, as larger or more energetically disruptive impacts can still lead to catastrophic outcomes. The contrasting outcomes of different impact events, such as the Chicxulub catastrophe, 
versus the Papagai and Chesapeake Bay events. Highlight the importance of factors like asteroid size, speed, composition, and the geological context of the impact site. The Chicxulub event, caused by a 12-kilometer wide asteroid, demonstrates the devastating potential of large impacts, including global cooling, acid rain, and mass extinctions. In contrast, the relatively smaller Papigai and Chesapeake Bay impacts reveal that not all large collisions produce catastrophic climatic shifts. The Tunguska event of 1908 offers a stark example of the destructive power of smaller scale asteroid impacts. The event is believed to have been caused by the airburst of a space rock approximately 50 to 60 meters in diameter, which exploded about 5 to 10 kilometers above the ground. This explosion released an estimated 10 to 15 megatons of energy, roughly equivalent to the detonation of 1,000 Hiroshima bombs. Despite the lack of a crater, the shockwave flattened over 80 million trees across 2,150 square kilometers in Siberia and was detected as far away as Western Europe. The Tunguska event also triggered atmospheric anomalies, including unusual glowing skies and a minor temperature increase due to the aerosols released into the upper atmosphere. While localized, such an event near a populated area today would result in massive casualties and economic disruption, highlighting the ongoing threat posed by smaller near-Earth objects. The Vredefort Crater in South Africa is a monumental record of an ancient impact, estimated to have occurred around 2 billion years ago. Spanning a diameter of approximately 300 kilometers, it is the largest known impact structure on Earth. The asteroid responsible is thought to have been over 10 kilometers wide, releasing an energy equivalent to billions of megatons of TNT. This colossal event likely caused global-scale environmental changes, including massive shock waves, widespread wildfires, and prolonged atmospheric disturbances due to ejected material. Geological studies of Vredefort have revealed evidence of extreme pressures and temperatures that melted rocks and altered Earth's crust, leaving behind unique mineral deposits such as shocked quartz and pseudotacolite. The impact may have also influenced early Earth's climate and biosphere, potentially playing a role in shaping the evolutionary trajectory of life. These events, Tunguska's localized devastation, and Vredefort's global-scale environmental disruption underscore the diversity of asteroid impact effects. They demonstrate the critical need to understand both the frequency and consequences of asteroid collisions across the spectrum of sizes and impact scenarios. Planetary defense initiatives like NASA's DART mission, Double Asteroid Redirection Test, and the European Space Agency's HERA mission are critical steps in protecting Earth from potential threats. These programs aim to detect hazardous asteroids early and develop strategies to alter their trajectories. The successful deflection of Dimorphos by the DART mission demonstrates the feasibility of these techniques and paves the way for future efforts to safeguard the planet. Additionally, studying asteroid impacts contributes to broader scientific and economic opportunities, such as asteroid mining. Insights gained from analyzing impact sites can inform the extraction of valuable resources like metals and water from near-Earth objects, while also enhancing our understanding of asteroid dynamics and composition. By integrating scientific research, technological advancements, and public awareness, humanity can enhance its readiness to address future asteroid threats while deepening our understanding of Earth's history and resilience. Thank you for watching this deep dive into the fascinating science of asteroid impacts. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned for more exciting content about our universe and the wonders of science. See you next time.